was at home. And then this idea popped in my mind. This idea had been growing in me and I, 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 I didn't want to admit it to myself because I had been so, you know, invested in making the switch and becoming successful at doing that. But at one point it, it just took over my thoughts and I started fantasizing about coming back. I really remember the moment very well that I made the switch in my mind. And I remember myself stepping into the Q-Dance office with the head of Q-Dance. First thing we both said was, well, you know what's gonna happen, right? We're gonna, we're gonna do the Ziggo Dome again. Um, that's the first logical step that we're gonna take. And the return of Adam was obviously, we, we, we didn't even have to think about that. That was just the perfect title. It was my way of expressing through music, yeah, how much this is a personal thing to me uh, and, and what Heartstyle has done for me and how much I have realized that at this point in my career so that I was able to, again, find that place within myself where making music becomes uh, not just a promotional tool or stuff to play on stage, but really a way to express my deepest feelings and emotions and that was really the thing that I felt that I had lost for a while before leaving Heartstyle. If Heartstyle was a woman I just conquered her too easily and I took her for granted at some point and by breaking up I found out that she was my one true love. I will be your humble servant. I will contribute my music. I will dedicate my musical career to the genre, to the scene I love more than anything in the whole world, and that is hard style. Thank you so much! Well, I'm very proud of the fact that the album is so much more than a bunch of tracks, you know? It's all these layers, you know, like David coming from the Tonight, you know, which has a, a history and a new a new Headhunters Wild Stars and Noise Controllers, which were also, you know, has this vibe to it because we did the DEF CON anthem before together and tonight. Taking it back is very special to me because I just made that at a point in time where I was so euphoric. Like I feel, I, I like feel emotional talking about it now. Um, I, I was so euphoric. I knew that the Ziggo Dome was going to happen and I was there making that track and I was just jamming away on the mic and and um, the melody just fell into place and I was like, I, I was sitting in the studio with goosebumps. It was just so, so magical. One of the late, last tracks I made was Path of the Hunter, which yeah, for, I think a lot of people's favorite too. I didn't really think while making the track, I just made something completely spontaneous, which doesn't go with all the rules that I normally, or that Hearthstone normally goes by. Yeah, I mean, I really love to do the collab with, with a Sub-Zero project. This track has such a, a, a deep message to the Heartstyle community. And Rescue Me with Sound Rush is a very musical track, uh, which, you know, I think also has a lot of reference to Dragonborn, for example. Doing a show in the Paradiso. Uh, I have been told it's a very special uh, thing and um, I personally haven't been there ever, so I'm very, very curious. I'm really excited to um, celebrate this whole thing uh, in a, you know, compared to the Ziggo Dome in a very intimate and small setting. Yeah, I, I really can't wait. Headhunters. <laughs>